Hey there, this is Michael Pollack with MichaelDPollack.com and I'd like to take a few minutes here and show you some of the many customization options that are available on WP Prosperity, uh, the premium WordPress theme that I've got for sale on my site here. Let's go over to the demo site and this is uh, this is a site, it's, it's set up as an example of, of what you could do with WP Prosperity and obviously this is just one of many examples um, because there are just so many customization options available on the theme. Let's go over to the blog page here for a second and I want to show you um, how we can kind of move toward a site that looks more like this and I'm going to take you over to a development site that I've got set up here and this is what WP Prosperity will look like as soon as you install it. So I've given you kind of like this blank slate setup um, initially that gives you plenty of room and, and flexibility to be creative and cre create your own site. Of course if you want to duplicate this demo site or any page on the demo site I'm more than happy to give you whatever you need to do that whether it's uh, you know the settings that you need or, or anything like that it's it's pretty easy to do but let's just start from scratch here and the first thing we want to do is add this top navigation bar if you look at the um, oops wrong page if you look at the demo site here we've got a top navigation bar and you'll notice by default that's not turned on so let's go ahead and turn that on we'll go to the uh, theme settings page here in WP Prosperity and we're going to go to the navig navigation bars section and we want to turn on this top navigation bar so we'll just flip this little switch to on save our changes and then you want to make sure under your menus section and your dashboard your WordPress dashboard you've got a menu assigned to this top bar navigation and we should have a menu here now or a navigation bar at the top here and you'll notice we do now have a navigation bar and you'll also notice on the demo site we've got our social media icons up here and we don't have many social media icons in fact we only got the search icon in the in the RSS feed but what's going to happen once you once you add your social media links into the theme settings page um, those are going to automatically populate in this top navigation bar or anywhere else that you want them you could put them in the top navigation bar the footer uh, you could put them in this header navigation bar area here so let's go ahead and move on you'll notice on the demo site we've got a logo here in place of the uh, site title and the tagline that's really easy to do go to your header site title and logo section we'll turn off the site title we'll turn off the tagline and we'll come down here and add our own logo we'll turn this on now you can either upload a file or you can pick one that you've already uploaded I've already uploaded one here so I'm just going to go ahead and insert that and so we should have our logo here now and we do have a logo now you could also do um, a full width header image instead of just a, a, a logo here that only takes up about one quarter of the header area we can do a full width header image and I've also got one of those uploaded so we'll, I'll show you what that looks like so you'd upload your image go ahead and insert it and we want to activate this full width header image here now one other thing we should do you'll notice this navigation bar we're going to need to push this down below the header so let's go to our navigation bars section and this is our header navigation bar you'll notice you can place it to the right of the header um, it's right of the site title or we can put it below the site title we're going to go ahead and put it below save our changes So now we have our navigation below the header. We've got a full width header image. 
and obviously this is just an example you want to create your create your own header image um, one other thing I think I'm going to do here under the color settings I've got two basic sort of built-in settings here for the header colors there's a dark setting and there's a light setting the default is the light which you saw saw initially I'll go ahead and switch it to the dark that's going to change everything basically to a black background so we've got a black top navigation and a black header navigation I think I want to change this header navigation here so let's go back to the navigation bars there's a setting on here where you can center and justify the header navigation and I kind of like that layout. So essentially it spreads out the links on your bottom navigation. I, I kind of like that. You may not like it, but it's entirely up to you. You can do it either way. You can also turn this navigation off completely. You don't have to have this, this header navigation. You could just have the top navigation with your header image. So it's very flexible as far as designing the header. Now you can also set each um, these colors individually. If you don't like black or white for the top navigation, you can change it to whatever color you like. We come to the color settings here, and we'll go to our top navigation color settings. And let's just change this. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll pick some kind of blue here. We'll just go dark blue so you can see an example. And then you can change the link color itself. Let's just make that some weird blue color again, for example. And we'll make this white. I'm not going to change the rest of these for now, but just want to kind of give you an idea of what you can do. So I, I personally don't think I'd ever want to have a navigation bar with a with a blue background and yellow links, but some people might want to have that and, and obviously it's up to you what you what you want to do for colors so we'll take these back out of here and you, you can do the same thing with with this header navigation likewise you've got a fixed navigation bar which I haven't really even activated yet uh, the fixed navigation bar we'll turn that on and the fixed navigation bar is going to show up once you scroll down the page a couple hundred pixels the fixed navigation bar will show up here and you can turn that on or off via the theme settings page we'll leave that on for now alright so let's look at this background the body background area here you'll notice the the default is this gray color again like like the header area you can change these colors very easily you can also use a background image or a background pattern and if you look at the body background section of the theme settings page you'll see the different options that are available I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this wood grain gray wood grain background You should see that pop up there and then you, you can pick I think I've got 20 different different patterns or 27 different patterns and then I've got several background images that are built in um, that you may or may not want to use um, we'll just activate this background image here so now we've got this sort of black and white plank background which is kind of interesting and then if you don't like any of the options that are built in you can use your own background image I'll go ahead and I've already uploaded an image so I'll go ahead and just add that here I'm not sure how good it's going to be for a background image but we'll give it a shot and let's save that and see what it looks like Yeah, it's not the best for a background image. You can you can play around with um, with using your own background image if that's the direction you want to go with your site. Um, again, there's plenty of flexibility for you to do whatever whatever you want to do. I'll 
go back to the plank background for the time being. Actually, let's just go back to the default settings. We're going to restore the default settings here. And you can do that with the click of a click, click of a button. And you can also export export and import your, your settings. If you want to move your site or something like that, there's an export function here. And essentially all you do is copy the code that pops up in this box. And then once you have your new site set up, you can paste this code into the import uh, box and just essentially move all your settings. So we should be back to our default setup, and we are. You'll notice the, the default layout here, the, the default setout, setup is this sort of this boxed layout. We can also very easily make it an unboxed layout by flipping this little unboxed layout option. And that'll essentially give you a full full white background for the site. So those are some of the basic settings on WP Prosperity. I haven't even really scratched the surface of all the settings that are available, but I think I'll do that in another video uh, because this video is already running over 10 minutes. Um, if you have any questions, visit michaeldpollock.com. You can also go to wp-prosperity.com, take a look at the demo site, and uh, then you can get in touch with me. Just click the Buy Now button. That should take you right over to, to my site. and Just click the contact link. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Talk to you soon.